on this video we are checking out some accessories that will allow your macbook pro any macbook laptop really to become the perfect mobile setup the accessories to give your device the best wireless experience for presentations mobile abilities and etc as well as some bonus accessories that i'm personally using on my main device now that i also want to share with you guys as well so let's go ahead and get started now when it comes to portable monitors this brand was one of the few first that actually made affordable portable monitors and i've been seeing a lot more offices nowadays using them but very recently they updated it was this new monitor which allows you to have a brighter screen the contrast to pixel ratio looks slightly better and improved it still is the same 1920 by 1080 resolution display and it still is the same 15.6 inch display but it technically is considered to be an ultra wide as there's plenty of real estate space than your standard typical laptop square display so if you've been holding off on getting one of these now would be a good time to get in it now there's a couple of different ways you can connect these to your computer. One, you can actually use a mini HDMI to a regular HDMI and will require the monitor to be plugged in to an external power source, which they provide. Or if your machine supports it, you could also plug it in to USB-C to a USB-C port. This also works on iPads and some smartphones. So you don't have to plug it into an external power source. You can just use that one single cable. But if you want to adjust certain things, you can as there is side buttons right here that will allow you to have access to the menu so you could adjust the contrast brightness and all that good stuff as well as change into different modes if you want to switch this to a gaming mode for that faster refresh rate and when you're done with it you could just fold it flat as this stand also acts as a full cover and it is no bigger than your standard laptop so it's really easy to travel with moving along another great alternative for an external monitor is probably picking up one of these wireless HDMI's. Now this one's currently in the Kickstarter stage. I'll have it linked in the description with more information on where you can find it. But this thing is actually really interesting. Yes, I understand the Apple TV is available and this will allow any device that's connected to the HDMI to broadcast anything that you see on display on your MacBook to be cast to the television or be used as an extended display. But the trouble with carrying the Apple TV around like that, if you're taking it to your school, a business conference, you have to connect it to Wi-Fi and stuff. Well, with this thing, it's just plug and play. There's no need to fiddle with Wi-Fi or anything like that. You literally just plug it in and it will automatically wirelessly broadcast the HDMI adapter on your Mac to the television. And it literally works exactly like that. Now the resolution that it's able to stream is full HD, so it's 1920 by 1080. Nothing crazy there. Doable, perfect for presentations or even watching general movies. As it can stream audio and surprisingly there's no noticeable latency. Now the color contrast can be debatable. I have, I want to say that the contrast doesn't really match 100% like it shows on the display on my Mac but it still looks really well and again it's perfect for those late notice presentations that you want to plug into a projector or something now for my day-to-day -day use under normal usage with my mac and my television this thing works surprisingly really well i was really expecting some connection issues once in a while that i had to reboot it nope i streamed i had this thing plugged in for three hours once and it didn't give me any issues Occasionally, once in a while, I will encounter some weird bug when I plug it in, when it's booting up. It may take a little bit longer than I'm used to, but it's so easy to reset to connect the two. And there's no issues here that will make me rage and throw this thing against the wall. It actually works. And the HDMI on the television does have to be plugged into an external power source, which is just powered by a regular USB. But the HDMI side on the computer, it doesn't require an external source. It gets the power directly from the computer. Really nifty device, very interesting. So if you don't like carrying around an Apple TV for these type of presentations, this wouldn't be a bad accessory to probably consider, especially since it doesn't rely on Wi-Fi. Now, let's be real. When operating a wireless mobile setup like this, your laptop is not gonna be nearby, which means you're not gonna have access to your keyboard or your mouse. And a full size mouse and keyboard is awesome, but it's really a pain in the butt to carry around. That is why you may be interested in possibly looking into this thing. This, believe it or not, is a full, well not full row keyboard, but it's a full keyboard with a touchpad right here that supports right and left. It connects via Bluetooth and charges with a micro USB, unfortunately, but it's a fair trade for something this size and portable. 
Now it folds up as you saw. These things are magnetically held together so it's not going to randomly open and damage itself. And the keyboard typing experience itself, honestly it feels like I'm typing on a Windows laptop I'll say. Not the Magic Keyboard but a good modern day laptop keyboard with a space bar which is quite nice. Full function key roads are up here so you can still adjust your keys, your volume and brightness and everything else for those fast shortcuts. But besides that, that's basically it. There's not much I could actually say about this besides it being a great solution if your laptop is away from you and you need a way to control everything in a simple small compact keyboard. Now another great accessory to also get if you have dead Wi-Fi zones in your household and you're running an old router set up on your home network system possibly consider upgrading to a mesh router system instead. If you're unaware, what a mesh router system allows you to do is put these pods around the household. Normally they come with three, but I've seen some that come with two. The one I'm currently using is by Mesh Force, and this is their M3 slash M3 dot system that they sell. These guys are insanely affordable compared to other mesh router systems available in the market. It's not Wi-Fi 6, but still performs just as well as this is using an AC network system, the 802.11 AC, which is very modern to today's standards. Not Wi-Fi 6, but is a lot more affordable and performs just as well. It's able to cover a property up to 4,000 square feet, which is plenty enough. Just gives you an idea how much range these things can get and will definitely eliminate those pesky dead zones. So if you're looking for an inexpensive but well-performing router, definitely do consider and possibly checking out these guys. As the setup process was extremely easy, it's all app based so you don't really have to plug it into a computer or anything like that and deal with the IP address and all that jazz. Now with all this talk about external monitors and other ways, methods you could plug in wireless devices to a television stuff like that, what if you just want to plug it in directly to an HDMI? Then consider picking up one of these USB-C hubs. Now this USB-C hub just recently got released, it's by Pluggable and this thing performs really well for its value. It retails for $29 and performs identical to those like high-end expensive ones that typically float around the $70 price tag. It has a lot of support for different ports as I previously mentioned. It has a full HDMI, it has support for a micro and a standard SD card, a USB-C port, and on the other side you have three USB 3 ports. So this thing is fairly loaded. Now you may have noticed that my laptop has this on top of the corner. What this basically is, is just an external small SSD that I actually permanently installed on my MacBook. Originally I had a Velcro tape on it, but it was really annoying and plus I was sick and tired of it constantly accidentally moving. So I just used 3M adhesive and just sticked it on the back. Now the reason why I've done this is because I guess this is a small hack because I don't have to deal or worry about my hard drive moving around or accidentally disconnecting and corrupting data. It happened before. That's why I was sick and tired of this. So I just sticked it on my Mac. Now whenever I have, need that extra storage, I can literally use the power USB-C cable to plug it into my Mac that way or I could use the small USB-C, the USB-C cable that it came with and just literally plug it into my MacBook Pro and, I'm, and this is how I'm able to have additional storage on my machine. And I've been doing this for about a year now and I have no complaints. If you want to know more about the hard drive I'm using, I'll have it linked in the description because this not only matches perfectly with the Mac, but it's also very slim and minimum that it doesn't feel like there's a paperweight on the display. And lastly, since we're talking about permit accessories now, I might as well mention about the webcam cover that I recommend everybody to at least install. I wish this was permanent now on Macs on all laptops, but it isn't unfortunately. But these things are very inexpensive, they're super slim, you literally just stick it on, it's held together by an adhesive and it has this awesome slider. And it's so thin that you can still fold the display fully flush and there's no interference issues whatsoever. And this also works on larger Macs like iMacs and such. So I highly recommend to get this for privacy concerns if you haven't. And there we have it folks, those were the accessories that we used to give our device the best wireless experience for presentations and privacy concerns and such. As well as, I guess, a cool hard drive hack. Links to everything will of course be linked in the video description down below. If you'd like to see more, check out this video over here as I go through my favorite applications that I'm currently still using on my MacBook Pro. And then that video over here, that's just a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Feel free to watch it or 
Again, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.